And in news from Pakistan, Pakistan's media bodies and opposition parties have rejected the amendments to the Prevention of Electronic Crimes Act, saying it is a flagrant move to undermine the freedom of speech press and defiant voices in the country. Calling the legislation a step to curb fake news, the government has increased imprisonment term against defamation from three years to five. Pakistan government's renewed effort to regulate social media through a presidential ordinance on Sunday has received widespread criticism from opposition parties as well as the Pakistan Federal Union of Journalists and various media bodies which have termed it another blatant move to stifle the freedom of speech and dissenting voices. With the promulgation of the Prevention of Electronic Crimes Amendment Act Ordinance 2022, the government declared that imprisonment against defamation has been enhanced from three years to five, calling it the legislation to curb fake news, Law Minister Farooq Naseem said it allows anyone from the public to become a complainant against defamation of any public office holder. Opposition PPP Vice President Shahri Rehman said on Twitter this is not about regulating fake news or protecting the vulnerable from cyber predations, but quite the opposite. While PMLN Vice President Mariam Nawaz said soon the ruling PTI government itself would become a victim of these new laws. Reports suggest the move comes days after Sabir Mahmood Hashmi, a social media activist from opposition PMLN, was arrested by Federal Investigation Agency for allegedly running a malicious social media campaign against Prime Minister Imran Khan and his wife Bushra Bibi. PMLN leader Mariam Nawaz had then asked if the Prime Minister was a sacred cow whose looting and failures cannot be criticised 